apologize today. Yeah. Right. Video tech to me is basically like film school. You get a treasure trove of films that can't really stream anywhere. And it's, you know, physical media, so you can wander around in here for hours and immerse yourself in anything you want, really, any kind of film from anywhere. And I think it, it's an important part of the community since there's not very many stores around anymore. It's a very crucial part of people coming in and learning about film. Even if they're people that are in school or just people that just come and wander off the streets. It is. It's that once you, you know, once you open your mind to getting outside of maybe the formal Hollywood movies, the big blockbuster films, and then just start experiencing things that you normally wouldn't maybe come across, I think it's very important. I mean, that's how I started off, you know, just going, same thing, going with my dad to video stores here in Highland Park and just wandering around and picking up a box just based on the the cover, and sometimes renting it and getting it home and being like, eh, this is not so great. And then taking someone, something home and just like getting your mind blown by it, just based on the cover of a video box. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing to be able to do that. So it's kind of interesting to know that there's still a need for it. It's kind of the older crowd where they either don't want to pay for subscriptions to online things, so they come here for it. But I think the pandemic, in a way, also helped us because I think everybody went through all the streaming services. So by the time, towards the tail end of things coming, the pandemic kind of cooling off, people were coming in again because they had basically run through all the streaming services that they had and mm -hmm. were kind of bored with the options. So it's a little different as far as like, Friday and Saturdays used to be our like big like rental days. Mm -hmm. Now it's just kind of all over the place. Sometimes Friday is our slowest day of the week, and then like Monday or Tuesday would be the busiest day. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the only thing I think that's like really really changes. I think we just expanded more, you know, especially the films. I, I think we're almost close to forty thousand now. We're over there. I think before we moved, we we're around I want to say 22,000. Well, you know, right now I think it's because a lot of things are getting reissued, especially like older titles are getting, with the advent of 4K and Blu-ray, things are just getting pumped out like crazy now, getting remastered. And a lot of like weird like B-movie and like stuff from the 80s and 90s, yeah. like a lot of that stuff's just like getting pumped out right now. So with the advent of 4K and like now we're getting people coming in, do you have this on 4K or are you going to get this on 4K? It's kind of interesting though, because we get some older folks that have been in here, that have been doing DVD for the longest time, and then finally get a Blu-ray, and they just can't grasp the idea of Blu-ray, and then the 4K comes out, and now that's just like blowing their mind even more. So they're like, "What? Do I need a new machine, a new TV?" And it's like, "Yep." And like, well, I just got one for a Blu-ray. Well, that doesn't make that big of a difference. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't like 4K all that much, but yeah, it's not really creating a problem with that. Besides just like people not understanding that there's new technology for each thing, yeah. new, for each thing that's coming out, there's like a new machine that goes along with that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a little confusing for people. The way it's organized, I think everybody that works here gets to have an input. If, you know, everybody here has different tastes in films. One person here is really into horror, so, you know, if someone has questions about it or wants a recommendation we could just point them in that direction I like film noir and um, early 70s American cinema so you know if anybody has a question about that stuff I usually get those those uh, questions directed towards me Mark the owner of course it's like very up on French and a lot of international stuff so you know I think we can there's a pretty much diverse group of people here that make the store unique for the customer. Usually I recommend this movie called Head On, which is like a Turkish German film. Um, a French film called Le Cirque and Rouge, which is like a 
early 70s heist film. It's a toss up, like the last one, because then I'm like, eh, but what else? It just it depends on the person's mood, really, you know. But those are usually like, if they really want a recommendation from me, those are probably what I would.